Hi friends, my name is Mrs. Van Orski and I'm going to be with you today as we review fractions. We're going to be reviewing mixed fractions, how to convert fractions, and equivalent fractions. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, we have some I can statements. Let's go ahead and talk about those. Our objectives are I can add and subtract fractions. I can convert fractions into decimals. I can convert improper fractions to mixed numbers and I can find and create equivalent fractions. Testing Newton's first law of inertia. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Hey there, marvelous mathematicians. It's so great to be here with you today. Hey, our goal for our 6.5 lesson is to use visual models. Again, we're using bar models to show, put together and take apart problems where one or both of our add-ins is on unknown. So sometimes we get an all. So we have a missing part. It was asking us about our pairs. Um, if I were to write an equation, it would say something like, well, we have 12 trees all together. Um, and then we know that eight of them are apple trees and some of them are pear trees. But we don't know how many pear trees there are. So that's what that would look like. So now that I've, um, I've, I've solved this, I can see one, two, three, four of those are pear trees. So I found my missing add in. And I'll just draw a line across a horizontal line across the top here. I also have a bar model. Okay. Are you ready? So 10 seconds. I want you to be thinking about what do you notice? What does it make you think about? And how many dots are there? Uh, remember with our math talks, we have this discussion. We're having discourse. We're talking about what we see because other our friends learn from that. Like, you might see something that they didn't see and they can learn from it. So I want you to be sure, um, remember it's one of our dream big be kind options is communicating and sharing that. So be ready to share your answers in the chat and I'll also call in a few people to share. Are you ready for your first sneak peek? Science, all right, let me go to science. All right, be before I start science, tell me everything you remember about landforms and earth changes. Okay, so landforms are a natural formation or area of land, and they can be forming at any time. They can be a mountain, a plateau, a continent, canyon, and a bay and peninsula. Okay. And then Earth's changes can be slow or fast. Some slow changes can be weathering, erosion, and also, the weathering and erosion can make big changes. They can form a canyon or a mountain, but they also have to take millions of years. They, they won't just happen overnight. And then fast changes like a volcanic eruption, a tsunami, an earthquake, or a landslide actually are very fast. So, and also a, a volcanic eruption can also cause tsunamis, earthquakes, and landslides. And so, a, a earthquake happens very fast and it changes the Earth's surface. There can be like large cracks. Man, then, keep going, you're blowing my mind. And then a tsunami happens which a, when a large wave crashes over a city where it's usually dry and then a flood can ha cause can be caused by a tsunami because since there's a lot of water coming it can flood the entire place and then lastly a landslide can be caused by a volcanic eruption and it happens when large pieces of land split off from where it's coming from and then it sl slides down a mountain that could be one way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, perfect, perfect. So can you think there was three words that we talked about that were slow changes? Do you remember those three words? 
weathering, erosion, and deposition? Deposition, yes, exactly. Perfect. I don't want to. And have... Harper's going to lead us in our student pledge. Let's say it with her. I am a proud ASU prep digital sun devil. This means I am ambitious, sincere, unique, prepared, dependable. I take pride in my work. I respect myself and others. I accept responsibility for my attitude, words, and actions. I will do my personal best for this is a sun devil way. Great job reading that for us, Harper, and thank you for participating, everyone. Today, it is the month of March, and in March, we are taking a look at this word, unique. It says, I am a proud ASU Prep Digital Sun Devil. This means I am unique. What does it mean to be unique? Crew? Unique means to be like different, different Very. from other person. Very good. When something is unique, it's a little bit different. It's special, right? And everyone in our class is unique and special. All right. So we heard a lot about different ways that those children were unique and special. Some of them were special because they were good at sports. Some of them were special because their family, they had a brother or a sister that really cared about them or that was unique. Um, some of them were good at smiling or jumping. So I want you to think about what makes you special and unique. And today we are going to interview a partner. In a little bit, we're going to go into a breakout room with another student and you're going to ask each other what makes each of you special and unique. Okay, now that we had a chance to interview our partners, we are going to share with the class what we learned about them. So down here on the green box, it gives you an idea of what you can tell the class. You can say, I interviewed, and then say that person's name. So I interviewed Miss Branham. She is unique because she likes to cook. Okay, who would like to tell us about their partner? Jesse, and you can hold up your board if you'd like to, so we can learn about them. Go ahead, Jesse, you can turn on your microphone. So my board says Jackson is a master Lego builder. Wow, that's very unique. Um, my partner was Jackson, and he said that he liked reading, um, playing video games, and listening. Those are awesome ways to be unique. Thank you. Sawyer? Um, I interviewed um, Zachary, and he likes to play with his dad. That's very special. Thank you for sharing, Sawyer. Well, that's what I heard, I think. Excellent. Well, we just found out that our classmates are all very unique and special. We all like to do different things. We all are good at certain things, and that makes us so unique and special. Thanks for sharing today, everyone.